when you find God, when you find God, you do not, your, your hunger is over. It's like when he said that he is your bread or when he says, um, when you pray and you said, give me this day my daily bread. Feed me. Continuously feed me. Satisfy this hunger that I feel. When um, Jesus was, or Yeshua was talking to the lady at the well, and he said, um, drink of my water and you will never thirst again. And when you find him, you're no longer thirsty. You're, you're, you're no longer searching because you know exactly where to go for your solutions to any problem that you may have or anything that you're facing, you know directly where to go. Not you got to search over here for that or you got to make this thing happen or that thing happen. No. I know exactly where I need to go and who I need to communicate to in order for him to dispatch his angels to be able to work in the net, the supernatural to have things manifest before us in the natural. Not to thirst anymore. Like in your physical body, how we get, you know, uh, famished. We get hungry. and You know, we go so many hours without eating. And we get hungry and we just open the refrigerator door. And sometimes if we go too long, Sometimes we're so hungry, we'll eat almost anything. We might choose the chips over the um, strawberries or the apples um, because we've gone too long without being fed. But if we are fed continuously through the day, when our bodies or when our spirits are in need to be fed. We're not trying to be fed through the television or through, um, you know, um, indulging in things that we have no business doing. Like um, we're jumping to bed with somebody um, like this and we're not even married to that person. Um, that's why a lot of problems around are, are, are um, come about simply because what we're trying to do, we're trying to feed our spirit. Our spirits are hungry. And so it being hungry will grab any piece of junk that we can get our hands on uh, just to feed and calm that hunger. Have you ever been thirsty? Like it's a hot summer day and you just like, Oh, I am so thirsty. Well, the Bible says that when um, Yeshua was sitting at the well with the woman and he told her, drink of my water and you will never thirst again. And just could you imagine not having the urge to have your thirst quenched because you're your tongue is constantly being satisfied all the time. And that's what it feels like to walk in um, obedience to God as much as you could poss possibly can. Because, you know, just speaking from a personal standpoint, I fall short quite often. You know, I slip up sometimes. You know, but I notice when I am, like, we are supposed to, Con con continuously be praying and we know God knows that we got things that we have to do we have to work we have children to take care of households to maintain um, we have to maintain our lives and because if we don't we'll be living on the street in a tent and maybe not being able to afford a tent but um, it was if we don't do things to maintain our daily lives, then we'll be homeless. So he understands that. Praying con continuously does not stop that. 
um, that process of what you have to do, you know, from moment to moment, day to day. It's just acknowledging him in all things. You come to a, a time where you have to make a quick decision and or you have to make a, an important decision about something and you go to the Lord and say, what should I do? What should I do about this? How, or help me with this. He should be continuously hearing your voice, not hearing your voice talking amongst other people about nothing. Constantly talking back and forth with him. Finding out his thoughts on things because he created you. He created you so he knows what's good for you and what's bad for you, for this body. If I made something, like if I, like you have somebody who is a computer, computer technician and he fixes computers, but let's take the person who created the computer. The person who actually created the computer down to the very minute component of this computer, but I know nothing about computers. When somebody has a problem with it, with something, he can, you go to him. He made it. You go to him and say, I'm have this is what's going on with my computer. And he can say, okay, you're having a problem. You have a blank, blank screen, so maybe this has something to do with this Thing behind the screen that makes the picture pop up on the computer. He can tell you that because he made it. And then as his disciples, he teach them, you know, how to, because, you know, not saying that God can't handle it all, because <laughs> he can, but he appoint people to learn what he has instilled in them as far as the, the body makeup of the computer. Okay, this is how I put this thing together. This is what you do when this problem arises with this computer. And this is how you fix it. And he, he got a whole bunch of employees out there knowing how to, how to fix a computer chip. That creator of the computer talked other people how to do it. So when they come across people who are have broken computers, broken people, he can fix it. And then tell them how to, I'm going about my way. I gotta help this other person. Let me teach you how to fix your computer. 